And now we're all right, now we're going to record. So now we're all good to go. I want to make sure everyone's acquainted. <laughs> Excellent. Good to go now. So now that we're acquainted, now everything's ready to go. We're going to go through the whole thing all over again because now everyone can see everyone. Everyone's good to go. And you got paparazzi's in the back. You watch out, Richard. They're already stalking you already. That's my humor. Sorry. Can you guys hear me good still or no? Yeah. Can you hear me better now? Can you guys hear me better now? Chris and Alex. <laughs> Sorry, we can barely hear you. We can hear them. Really we can bad. hear you guys. Hmm. I know you guys are coming from a car, I believe, right? Is that better? Can you hear me now better? I can barely hear you. Huh. I, I think it's you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Just... Can you hear us, Jazz? I can hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Uh, I know it's hard to miss my me. <laughs> I'm pretty loud. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hopefully, they can. Usually, we don't have an issue. Usually, normally. Okay. Technical difficulties. We'll get there. Yeah. We're a well-oiled machine. We know how it works. This stuff. We're good. All right. Those are all there in the car, it looks like. Probably Gucci on the hmm. Okay, can you hear us a little better today? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Alex. Oh, look at that. Magical. Oh, look at that. Yes. All okay, right, now we can hear you a lot better. Oh, excellent. That's good. Excellent. That's how it works. There we go. Excellent. Can you hear me? All right, so as I was saying, yes. this is the F World Headquarters podcast. I am the icon, Sean Jazz Stevens. We are very special as we're going to be talking about a very special pro project that we are all embarked upon with the great Richard M. Bourne, this gentleman right yonder. And of course, all of these fine gentlemen right here are also part of this community and whatnot. And I, of course, am help, going to help bring these characters from the pages to the screen. And together we shall. So, anywho, why don't we go ahead and introduce ourselves one more time for those people who are late tuning in? All right, I'm Richard Bourne. Hi, I'm, I'm Chris Lemieux. Sorry, go, Chris. I'm okay. I'm I'm Chris Lemieux. I live in Florida. Um, I am 14 years old. Hi. Chris's brother. Ouch. What happened? Oh, okay. Well, uh, oh, hopefully Chris. they'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Technical difficulties. We'll keep an eye out for them. Oh, all uh, right. My name is Landon, and I live in Florida, and I'm 11 years old. Welcome back, Landon. Landon, we met you the other... Oh, oh there they come back in. Here we go. Maybe. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear us better? You guys okay? Oh, that's fun. Hello? You guys good? I wish I had an RV. I wish I had an RV. RVs are fun. They have a 15 passenger van, which is really, really nice. Yeah. Do you guys have a 15 passenger van? They could be automatic drivers. Can they? Hear, can you guys hear us good or no? No? You guys hear? Okay, good. All right. So, as we were saying before, you guys, uh, I guess you guys were driving through the Hellman area again. <laughs> I know what the feeling. I know the feeling. So, before you guys drove past Hellman Elementary, can you, again, introduce people to who you are? I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Hellman is, can you guys hear them? We cannot. Okay, good. We're not alone. All right. <laughs> this is fun. All right. We cannot hear. <laughs> this is fun. Technical difficulties already. Usually, Linda doesn't have these issues. I know. But as I that. said, she is traveling. So. Uh, uh, now we got Jay joining us, too. 
gonna be a regular party now. Look out, hold on. Let's try this. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. How are you, buddy? Hey, what's up? Can you hear us? Yeah. We cannot see you. You're trying to hide. You do. You incognito. Yeah, I'm incognito. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we got some audio issues with Chris with uh, Linda's side of things. Unfortunately, Chris, Chris and his brother are over yonder, and Landon and Richard are hanging things up. You could probably see them in the corner. And of course, we're all familiar with this jolly guy right here with the missing tooth. And here I am with a loud voice. <laughs> At seven o'clock in the morning at night now it's nighttime huh yeah you know, the scary part is the same energy level is right now in the morning as it is at night so it's a lot of fun as you guys can protest richard and jay know that to be true yeah Come on. true anywho these poor yeah these poor dudes in the corner anyway we know who they are we, we've heard about them and we know they're gonna be part of our hellman universe uh, so first and foremost, what are you guys excited for most about being part of this project? I think a lot of people want to know what this means for all of you guys who have been kind of part of this kind of before it was a thing, right? Uh, well, I'm excited to like bring in this story to life and to like be on set and to experience a whole new thing and to get this going and started. Indeed. How about you guys down here in the corner? You guys can hear us. We cannot hear you. <laughs> like these poor guys. We can. Yes. I can see them, but I can't uh, hear Chris, them. But we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you guys. The microphone's not working. I mean, sign language. When you but I'll in. tell you what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing these guys bring my characters to life on screen. Yeah, I believe that. I can I can understand that. And Jay, the missing man in the back in the box, what are you excited about seeing? Well, you you know what's funny, and and Richard can back me up on this. You know, I, I've known Richard for quite a few years now. Him and I go back, and I've been telling him I don't know how many times that this needs to be made into a movie, into a series, whatever. Mom, so is, I'm glad to finally see it come to life. We can Hello. hear you, Chris. Alex, give me that headset. We can see, we can hear you. Now we can't see you. They're <laughs> <laughs> mess. This is awesome. You know, this is just like the filmmaking business. So, you know, because writing a book is a little different than filmmaking. So all these fun things, this is the stuff that goes in the blooper reel, see? Exactly. See, see, Richard, this is what we've been talking about, that blooper reel. This is the stuff that goes in that blooper reel. The setting up for the audition for the things to come. <laughs> uh, anywho. And you know what? As a writer, I can understand that, Richard. You want to see the characters you kind of orchestrated in your mind bring it brought to life. You got to do that, bringing these young men to these events, which I got to say, from my perspective, I've never heard of an author he used those real people as people part of that book. That's a revolutionary thing. Stephen King didn't bring Gage out of, you know, wherever. I mean, thank goodness. Or Cujo, to my knowledge. Uh -huh. uh, but, again, good thing. But, you know, you're doing some groundbreaking things. And as far as how it's written, and I agree with you, Jay, um, I think that this sh it's a sin that no one's thought about doing it sooner. Uh, it's written for television, <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's how it's how each chapter ends and then starts out it's amazing how it i don't know why no one's done it yet <laughs> but i'll be happy to do that that's easy work for me <laughs> so good stuff well, everything happens for yes sure does now let's test our friends over here in the in the van who are apparently on their way to going okay. to helman elementary school hello again guys <laughs> welcome back Hello. Can you hear us you a little better? Get, yes, we can hear you better, and then we can see you. Awesome. Apparently, you okay. got out of the Hellman Elementary area, so that's good. Good job. Okay. You got out of the yes. Hellman area, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations getting out of Blue Gulf, Kentucky. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, so since we were so really interrupted by Hellman Elementary and those darn teachers and who knows what, 
why don't you again let people know who you fine gentlemen are okay so hi i'm chris Leneve. i live in jacksonville florida and i'm 14 years old um i'm alex Leneve. oh i'm alex Leneve. i'm 10 uh, 11 years old actually <laughs> i live in jacksonville florida and i'm his brother excellent that's always fun and we already know our good friend landon and we know richard and jay is hiding in the box yes I get it, Jay. I get it. You want you don't want those pesky paparazzis finding. I get it. These people want the paparazzi. They've been dealing with it all weekend over there. Yeah. Right, guys? <laughs> yep. We have. So how about this? How about you guys give us a little bit of a field report since you guys have been kind of, you know, since we announced it, what, Friday? We made the official announcement, right? We did am- announce the official announcement. <clears throat> yeah, it was Friday. Friday, yeah, Friday is uh, together, uh, time, so... Yeah, my yeah. days are kind of ran together now that I'm I've been going strong for the whole weekend. So Yeah, you're a trooper. Back to our hotel not too long ago. <laughs> I believe it. But it was yeah. a lot of fun. We've already got some good crowdfunding going, uh, which has been excellent. And we've uh, you know, officially we've cast, you know, Brandon Hunt as uh the Josh character. And now, you know, we've officially cast Landon here as JP. And, of course, we did cast a third character that doesn't know they've been cast yet. And that is a person sitting in the van. Uh, I'm very happy to say that Alex Leneve will be playing the part of Benny. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm extremely excited to see him. Uh, bring that character to life. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. You gotta talk in here. All right. So you guys, y'all, y'all are close enough. We can hear oh. you. So you don't. Have to yeah, we can hear you both now. Oh, okay. You guys are, you guys are far away from they home now. Us. You're good. They can hear us. Oh, okay. They can hear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sorry. That's good so stuff. Congratulations, here. Alex. Um, Thank you so much. As I said, I'm <laughs> so happy that you're going to be joining as a character. And uh, don't excited. worry, Chris, we have an announcement come dealing with you. Oh, no, it's tough. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to work what? with you, Alex. <laughs> this guy doesn't know. I can't wait. This guy's funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we, we I can tell you that on our end, uh, Richard and I have been busy putting orchestrating the team. We've been doing some auditions. Um, and yeah, we got more. I, I've been getting the emails just as I warned you was going to happen. We're going to open the floodgates, and sure enough, they've been pouring in. So here it comes. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Always looking forward to it. I always love a challenge, and projects is always fun. And um, you know, and whatnot. So here's a question. So a lot of people who are not familiar with Hellman Elementary. Who are like, what is this show going to be about? Is this a coming? Is this a rom com TV show, or is this a anime show, or is this like, you know, a cartoon type of thing? Why don't you guys tell us what you think Helmet Elementary is going to be? I go ahead, Lyndon. Okay, I'll kind of give them like a pitch about what it's about, like how we sell books. I kind of like do the same type of thing and give them like how it's like a strange story and tell them what it's about and get them familiar with the story. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, wait, what was the question again? <laughs> it's, it's hard. It, you're like cutting out a lot. Oh, am I, am I cutting out? Or I probably am. I'm like, hold on. You know, I, I went away with the regular microphone to use the regular computer microphone. My bad. All right. So what I was asking was um, for you guys, what do you think, if you wanted to describe what the Hellman Elementary is going to be to someone who maybe haven't read the books, how would you describe what you think the television show would be? Like, you mean like a cartoon or like a real? Yeah. Do you, do you, do you think it's going to be a rom-com? If someone who's never read Hellman Elementary, is this going to be a rom-com, a bunch of, a bunch of like kids, you know, falling in love and all that stuff? Or is this going to be like an action pack adventure? Is this going to be a sci-fi thing? Are we going to see Yoda in the show? Or how, explain to me, explain to the audience who aren't familiar what they can so, expect for Hellman Elementary. I think it would just be kind of like normal, but there might be a little spurts of like sci-fi. There's like little like monsters around the corner in the classrooms. You never know. Yeah. Um, um, I think it would be like 
a good story and like it'd be like really, really strange. And people and, people would get hooked very easily. Yeah. Mysteries from the monsters because they're gonna know what's gonna happen next. So, and you guys have been part of this this bizarre world for quite a while, right? All of you guys collectively. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. And Jay over here have. hiding. Jay, you yeah. fall asleep. You okay, brother? Yeah, I'm still here, brother. Okay, good. We're just making sure because you know we don't want to make sure you fall asleep or miss something. You know, <laughs> I think he's stuck in the same place as them. He's probably in the corner somewhere in Hellman Elementary. <laughs> it's that squid again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. I didn't him out Mr. Jason's leg, so uh, he uh, can't walk. He, yeah. he's not looking too great under the water, and you know, um, you know, I heard he rode it with Marty. That's what I heard. I heard he asked Marty for a ride to the store. We all know what yeah. driving with Marty is like. Now you got to remember that I'm the delivery driver. I've I've got my own nice vehicle. Well, Been Marty, right. Marty Ask. has a vehicle too, but it doesn't mean he's a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i i did run over that that kid yeah those darn ants again you know yeah gotta watch out for the ants. <laughs> marty has a thing for ants but never mind people but the ants you know anywho uh so this is gonna be exciting so you know so obviously you guys are gonna be locked and loaded for um the projects extra you know how long it's gonna go for right we're all locked and loaded for this yeah, yes. I am. Ready. Yeah. Now, fair warning, you guys know what happened, all the people that took, who kind of, you remember that show that people used to talk about? What's that thing? It's a stranger show. A stranger stranger show things? Stranger things? Yeah, that show. Yeah, that show. People aren't going to remember that anymore because that's going to be us. That's going to be talking yeah. about us now. We're going to be stranger, like stranger Things, but better. Yeah, Stranger Things is all done anyway. They're, they're coming off because they heard we were coming in, so... I heard that they say we're not going to compete with Hillman Elementary. We're out. Uh, so Finn Wolfhard, by a good long fry, my someone who I said a long time ago had a lot of talent. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's very bummed out. He's going to go back to Canada because unfortunately Hellman Elementary is down in Blue Gulf, Kentucky. So, Darn it. Anywho, so I know we're all excited for that. Jay, I bet you're excited just as much, huh? Definitely, definitely. Like Excellent. I said, I'm ready to see the thing, you know, come to light finally. Awesome. And what, Richard, from what you guys have seen so far, you've been, you guys have been kind of held, holding down the fort up down there in Connecticut. Good God, love you for being in Connecticut. Let me tell you, so <laughs> all the way down there in Connecticut, very far away from me. <laughs> anyway, um, how, what's the kind of feedback you guys have been getting since you, you've been talking about it? We got really good feedback. Um, I, I know that a lot of people started following you as we made the announcement. They started uh, asking some questions. They uh, started asking uh, my actors some more questions. And uh, people at the convention were just really good. A lot of people were talking to us. Uh, some were extremely excited about getting to have their names in our credits. Yeah, see. I bet. It's always a good thing to see a name. I'll tell you, there's something about... I don't know if you guys have been, I mean, you guys have been actors and stuff like that before, right? All you guys have done acting before? Yes. Have you guys seen your stuff on a screen yes. before? Yes. yes. I, can, I can tell you from my point of view, seeing something that I worked on or having been part of, because the way I do things is a little different than a lot of other people. I've gone over this before. You guys are unfortunately just meeting me now, but that's okay. I know your mom. Mom's great people, too. <laughs> your dad's good people, too. Uh, anyway. Um, but what I was going to say is one of the things I agree, I believe in on my set is like a family like atmosphere. It's laid back. It's light. I don't like to stress people out. I don't, I want to make sure it's like a family like atmosphere. So prior to shooting, we're going to have like field days where everyone's going to hang out and have some fun. And cause, so everyone has a chance to gel together as one unit. Cause this isn't my project. This is our project. Yeah. This is Richard and me yes, and, Jay, and Landon and you guys down there. This is our project, not my project. This is our collective project. <laughs> Collectively, we're going to take over Netflix. I mean, we're going to win. I mean, we're going to go on Netflix or wherever. Whoever's yeah. smart enough to hire us. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there on then, you guys will be set in stone. You guys will be the next household names. And 
I'll, I'll have my good friend Finn Wolfhard tell you what happens after this. <laughs> I don't think you want to hear that story. <laughs> but anywho, I'm very excited to be part of this, guys, I, and I look forward to working with you guys. I know you guys have been with Richard for a long time. And Richard, again, your show is meant to be a television show. It's, rent, it's written for a television show. I didn't have to do mu too much tweaking. I just had to do little things here and there because it's exactly the way a TV show should work. And it should have that, hat, that hook at the end of each episode. And I can tell you that we've already been discussing a lot of various other awesome things, like having some familiar faces who have been on this show before may be part of this project as well, perhaps. I know Richard has been reaching out. I know he has been reaching out. Um, they're oh, very man. excited. And a lot of other people have been re reaching out as well, who I've known for a while and uh you know that'll be coming soon eventually i'm sure um you know this is going to be a big it'll, thing it'll be good to just uh slowly just introduce our it. cast as we get them <laughs> signed up right and we have a pretty good amount of people right richard so far we gotta we have uh, some yeah, pretty good so far some that are gonna be auditioning later tonight so it's yep you know. we got some tonight we got some more coming in and we had some over the weekend that aren't part of here right now because, you know, either they're coming back from Mexico, like one individual or, you know, other things that they're going or they're just, you know, stuck outside Hellman Elementary, unfortunately. They, they may be, I'm telling you, they may be inside. So, this I, well, unfortunately, one of our actors I heard got on the bus and unfortunately Marty is known to drive the Greyhound bus off season. So uh, unfortunately, we hope he shows up in time. We hope. Hopefully. We hope anyway. We'll put it on APV soon. Anyway, so what do you? How about you guys over here? You guys have been part of the Hellman for a while. You guys excited? Yes, I am. Yes. So I am super excited. Super excited Excellent. to start this. You were all. You were in uh, Oak, Pennsylvania, were you not? Yes. Yes. You were. yes. You, I knew I recognized people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monster Mania! I gotta love Monster Mania. Oh, by the way, Richard uh, David said, you know. He looks forward to welcoming you back very shortly. He's working on getting you back awesome. in there. And I know that our, our friend of ours, Damien Leone, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I do Damien, know him. Damien Leone is going to be reaching out shortly to um, offer some advice as well. So Awesome. So I thought I'd awesome. pass that along, that he was also interested and also gave us a really good green thumb. Green thumb. Gave us a great endorsement on his end of things and has, you know, said that, you know, he's actually read what I've written so far. Loved it. Things you've seen. And uh, he, he says that, you know, we're going to be taking up the Netflix because they got a scream or something like that. I don't know. They got some other channel for the scary stuff. We just got to take over Netflix. Small potatoes. Anyway. <laughs> So have you guys done like live panels and things? like? I know you guys have done live events and stuff. Have you guys been part of panels and things like that? Yes. Those are fun. Live Q and A's at the events. Those are always fun. Excellent. All right. So you guys have had a long weekend, correct? Yes. Excellent. Now, where are you guys coming? Where are you, now, I know, granted, you guys are just probably coming back from Hellman. I understand that. But where are you guys coming from? You guys are able to join us in the, uh, was that an RV? There's it's no um, it's our van. It's oh, a 15, sweet. like a 15 passenger van. And we're actually traveling down to Miami for another like um, beach wear job. Oh, fun times. Yeah, that's one of the yeah. perks of being in Florida. You're from Florida too though, aren't you? Yes. You're She's all from Florida. Me. You guys love, yeah. you guys love, you know, I got to say, you guys got plenty of beaches down there. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. We don't have great beaches up here. I still go swimming to my beaches, though. So. I'm not kind of crazy. <laughs> That's guy. a place, at least. Do you guys got sharks down there? You guys got plenty of yeah, sharks yeah. down there. Lots Do you guys of swim with the sharks? Oh. Um, no. Maybe, we don't know. <laughs> no. I mean, yet, you huh? go to, like, an aquarium and maybe swim with them. Yeah. I've swam yeah. with dolphins before in Florida. Have so. you? Well, apparently Robert just went Robert is one of the people we auditioned he uh, just got done swimming with dolphins and wherever else down in Mexico so that's cool. I don't know that's interesting <laughs> stuff but 
I've, I've had the luxury of swimming with both dolphins and sharks. And, well, I don't know about a luxury, but I did them both. And actually, I'm still here. So, and I have all my digits. Uh, so I live to tell the tale. Uh, done with Hellman Elementary. I don't know about that. That might be a different story. I mean, sharks are just sharks, fish. Hellman Elementary is a different story. We don't get into our shark story until the third book. So uh, sharks. Oh man. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, folks, you guys got things. You guys got to get locked and loaded. How many seasons do you think? Are you ready to pump out more books so we can go? I, until, I can you know, pump out as many books as you, as I need to. Right now, you know, I'm contracted through the first fifteen. So. Okay, well, we're good. Well, Rich is going to come up with those, and then you guys are going to have to get locked and loaded because you guys are going to be in college when this thing's done. <laughs> Hel Hellman Elementary College. <laughs> the extended, or unless you guys get st you guys stay back like, like that. Uh, Josh did apparently several times over. I don't recommend staying back. You know, twenty <laughs> years, twenty seasons worth of, of <laughs> whatever. Because, listen, the reality is you guys are real people. Bart Simpson might not get older than nine, but you guys are real people. So <laughs> I have a feeling that you guys may change eventually. Um, Eric Cartman and all those guys. Stones on their heads. Yeah, generally. You know, and the guys over at South Park, you know, they, they don't seem to age either. They're in, they're in Colorado, though. So those are just kind of things that happen. Uh, they don't generally grow over there, apparently. I don't know. I've never been to South Park, Colorado, but I've been to Quahog, Rhode Island plenty, so I can tell you that it's it's quite amusing. Yep. So, well, have fun down the beach. Are you guys going to get to hang out at the beach rather than just getting filled, just to do work, or how does that work um, for that kind of thing? I think most of the time would be, like, photo shoots, but, I mean, there's probably, like, breaks and stuff, like food breaks or, like, just, like, hangout breaks. So or or like at the end, like if we have time, we can maybe go like swim in the beach. So that's cool. They let yeah. you swim in the things that they let you try on. No, sad no. <laughs> that's all. Wish. Have you guys ever? I've had a few people on the show before that have done modeling and acting and things like that. And there's some pros and cons to it, right? You get to wear this cool stuff, and then you can never take it home with you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Is that something you guys encounter? Do you do that too, Landon? Do you do modeling as well? Yes. Awesome. So you guys all have that in common. That's good. I'm actually so shooting, you... uh, I'm shooting a uh, Macy's commercial next week for Macy. the uh, summer, I think the summer shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah, the summer they have shoot. Macy's down in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of Macy's down okay. in Florida. Oh, okay. I didn't know they have Flor Macy's down in Florida. Cool. Okay, cool. Fun stuff. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Interesting. You guys have Dunkin' Donuts down there? Oh, yeah. The, uh, okay, we go. Cream, Dunkin' oh, Donuts, yeah. Starbucks, all that stuff. Yeah, I miss Krispy Kreme. I like Krispy Kreme. Oh, they're so good. We don't have that where I'm from in Tennessee anymore. Anyway. Oh, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. We used to have one up here. Krispy Kreme. Is one. Good. And Dunkin' Donuts oh, picked them up. That's so good. Only one? We had one. We had one. Um, yeah, we only had one Krispy Kreme, and Dunkin' Donuts didn't like it, so... They left real quick because Dunkin' Donuts said no, no more donuts in our area. They pulled that one, pulled one of those cars. And, and fun fact, I'm actually from the home of the original Dunkin' Donuts. But, you know, I drink all coffee for the record. As long as it's cheap and easy, I'll drink it. I don't care. Because coffee saves lives. <laughs> Richard, on the other hand, does not drink coffee, right? No, coffee is disgusting. No, oh. I didn't. Man. Hold on, me and Rich. Yes. Let's take, let's take a vote. How many people oh. like coffee? Raise your hand. Yeah. Me and Richard talk about that all the time. You, you drink coffee, Jay? Coffee. Do you drink coffee, Jay? Oh, 24 7. All right, good. Atlanta drinks coffee too? Well, decaf. I, I, I don't really like hot. I only like, like iced. It's okay. You drink coffee too? All right. Yep. There you go. I drink all right, good. All right, so we are, we're gonna have to have. I'm just trying to get an idea of what we're gonna have to have on set. That's all. Yeah, lots coffee. of coffee. Coffee. Yeah, lots I, I'm water. thinking a gallon. I'm thinking a gallon of. Uh, we'll get a gallon of coffee, a half a gallon. Of, know, well, I, maybe a, I, maybe I a think gallon. Coffee would be for the parents. Some caramel, yeah. some sweetener. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, some parents don't drink. Don't have enough coffee. They don't need more. <laughs> I, I'm actually uh, reaching out to someone who. Uh, can possibly do us both some help with food 
uh, situations and with hairstyles because she's a oh perfect, that's exciting long person so good stuff. I have also contacted some people who are willing to help out on the technical aspects. We get some of those awesome aerial positionings and so forth. We get some awesome shots and some things of that nature because shooting is very cool in uh, filming and so forth. And uh, I have some technical wizards who are on board to help out as well. And they're excited to be part of it because, you know, why not? So that's good stuff, people. So do you guys have any questions? Are you guys, what do you guys, ner- is there any nerves at all going into anything? No, not at is there all. Any nerves? You're not is nervous going nerves? into Hellman Elementary? Go closer. Alex, be nervous. I just don't see that. Sorry. <laughs> Alex doesn't get nervous. Good. Alex is going to crush that role. I just know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Indeed. Kind of stuff. Good stuff. Come closer. So, now, because you guys have all known each other, how many times have you guys all worked together on this project with Richard? Uh, have you guys worked together? Twice. Twice. Twice? Mm-hmm. One, remember, it was the first time like I've ever done one, and then the second time? Oh, yeah. Was, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you're saying. So, yeah, they've worked together once. Uh, with me at Smoky Mountain Fan Fest, actually. Uh, but Landon's worked with me about four or five times, and then Chris and Alex have worked with me three or four times. I twice? Three, three or four, yeah. Uh, no. Three. Well, if you're if you're only doing, like, Comic-Cons, but other things. Oh, yeah, I was, I was going to say, you, you've done other things with, with us, uh, too, so, because that includes your yeah. influencers and everything. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. I was going to say, because they were in Philly with me when somebody had to go to the hospital and almost died on me. <laughs> oh, and who was that, I wonder? Uh, yeah, that wonder. wasn't the show at Oak, was it? <laughs> Probably yeah, yeah, it was. That wasn't the Monster Mania show by any chance. Is that one you're referring to? <laughs> that, that would be, would the, be one. the one. Oh, isn't that? You know, it was funny. I was there for that one. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder who that was, that gentleman who was supposed to get together so I could give it, tell when we should do this back then. Hmm, I wonder who that hey, was. Yeah. If, That's okay. If, Good if thing to come to those who wait. That. If he drank coffee, Jazz, he probably wouldn't have been in the hospital. <laughs> what happened now? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, man, I hope he's feeling better. He's obviously feeling better now. We're going to keep him away oh, from yeah. whatever made him sick, though. Oh, so you yeah. You have that happen. You need to, you got to write like 19 more books. So you're not allowed to die anytime. That's, that's actually a general rule. No one's allowed to die while making this film. Um, just so you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be something we're all gonna have to make sure we're all aware of. You're not allowed to die on the on before or during the filming. Um, you're not allowed to get hurt or die on set. Well, if you do get hurt on set, it's gonna be minor, but you're not gonna die on set. We're not gonna have any of that. We'll have Nurse Polly on hand to. <laughs> oh goodness, Nurse Polly. Oh wait, w. sorry. Yeah, you wouldn't want her on hand. Never mind. Gosh, never mind. We'll get a real. Nurse Polly would be a great idea. I can think of some other people to. You know, uh, I might have a clown friend of mine that might come down to help no. us out with some, some you know. No, might be, I might have a good friend of mine who might be able to come down and do some balloon animals for people, you know. I know, he's in that right, uh, the, the corner of your screen, and I, I like how your shoulder is blocking him, so. Who's that? You're talking, oh, that's Art. You're talking about yeah. Art? Yeah. Oh, I could bring, oh, David Howard Thornton's a delightful young man. You know, man. I know. I'm sure he. He will have no – actually, I'm going to see him next month, actually. Well, I would like be you. more than happy to invite him to come down to come do balloon animals for the cast, including yourself, in full arty gear. Come on, how awesome is that? Okay. What about my friend Bill? Can I bring my friend Bill down? <laughs> you can bring Bill as long as he's not dressed as Pennywise. Oh, come on. Yeah, Tim Curry. Yeah. Can I do Tim Curry? I would love for Tim Curry to show up. Even if Pennywise? He- not as Pennywise necessarily. Oh, come on. You're taking away I don't, that I don't think he'd dress up as, as Pennywise anymore, though. So You're probably, that's probably true. You're right. But Bill has no problem doing it no. for me because we go back in the day. So <laughs> Great. And our, I'm sure David Howard Thornton has no problem putting on that. Oh, imagine both. 
No. The Clown Show with Pennywise and Art the Clown. What a great idea. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, I will. We can make we can make them like the honorary school security for the for the Hellman <laughs> Elementary. Who else would be the security hall monitors? I don't think Mister Richard would like to write any you more do, books. You do know that my publisher made me put a clown in book four because they thought it would help me get over the fear. So did it help? There is a, there is a clown a in book four that. Did it help? No. No. <laughs> And now I have worse? to have a, a clown prop on the table, too. So. Well, it's just a prop. And everybody's like, oh, I had that when I was a little girl yeah. or a little boy. It does attract a lot of people, which found that out this weekend. You know, I can tell you, though, from my experience, I can understand that because I, I found out in the wrestling world that you're not allowed to trust clowns either. I had my own run ins with clowns. So I can understand that. But until you got pied by a clown in the middle of a ring, I don't know if you can have a fear of clowns that much. Oh, I have a fear. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know. That was a lot of fun. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, Jay. How are you? He, he is so scared of clowns <laughs> that I was working security at a Halloween event. And one of my coworkers came out dressed as a clown. He picked up a chair like he was going to WWE this clown, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see yeah. you doing that. You know, Richard, that. Richard, you, know, you know, I am in the middle, Richard, right now, of rebuilding yeah. my, you know, the icons of the F4L. I could easily build you as a character for our show, you know. We do need <laughs> another oh, author. Oh. You can face, you can face uh, Stephen King and all those people. You need another cool. writer. We need another writer. I'm going to build you into it. I mean, if Doink the Clown shows up, I'm sure you could beat him, too. Anyways, you know what? Jackson has a thing about beating clowns anyway, so we'll just have you with Jackson. He, he has no problem beating on Pennywise. He does it all the time. <laughs> yeah, but he has to do it with one arm. He does. He does. He, well, he's got – on our show, he has that robotic arm, and I'll tell you, he beat both, both Pennywise in the same match for the record. So, oh, wow. you know what you could do? You could just team up with him and just kind of hang on this apron and let him do all the work. Sure thing. I mean, how old is Jackson now? Let's see. Jackson's, what, 14 Jackson. now, I think, right? Yeah, he's 14. 15 now. Yeah, 15, yeah. So, you know, you he could take care of the clown. No problem. Well, the clowns. Yeah, well, Richard well, Richard could watch Jackson destroy the clowns. No, no, the other safety. kids will. They'll all bring clowns towards me. Like, especially. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frank is that a yes? Crash. I should, so, I should invite David Howard Thornton down? Okay. Yeah. Yes, right. and, and Bill Skarsgård in full gear. Yes, yes, no? and, yes as long as they're not in, in clown costumes. He oh, said, cool. well, I mean, "What fun would that be?" What, what, whoever heard of David? Well, actually, David Howard thought Thornton is a contortionist, so if he wanted to, he could do all kinds of fun things. You don't mind if he comes down there and spider walks over to you? As long as he's not dressed as a clown, sure. Can you imagine yeah. Art the Clown spider walking though? I, I kind of can. Yeah. And now he's going to have nightmares. <laughs> More than likely. Excellent. So for the record, so people know, this is kind of generally how I am. I do make a lot of fun jokes because why not? Life's too, sh life's too short in the end of things. And as long as you guys, as long as we keep focused on what the task at hand is, it's calm, cool, and collective. You have this light atmosphere on the set, and you work well as a team. And I've often found that, and a lot of people in our area – have adopted this as a kind of a model for how they have their sets. So, you know, hopefully you guys get half of my jokes because I do make a lot of them sometimes. I am very sarcastic, I'll be the first to admit. And if you're not clear about a joke, please ask me first and I will clarify it for you because I sometimes it's hard to pick <laughs> up on my sarcasm uh, when I think it's obvious, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, but anywho. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's dark down there in Florida. Why is it so dark down there? I do not know. It's, I don't know. You guys it's, got a storm coming? That's a storm it's, cloud right there. It's pitch black here. Yeah, well, it's also nighttime. I here. don't know. I know where you guys are. You're, you're not far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, we're bar, actually, you guys are on the East Coast, too. So we're technically yeah. should have all the same, really. <laughs> But anywho. It's almost 8 o'clock here, so yeah. Yeah, it is 8 o'clock, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it's 7.50. You're going to be shooting at dark at night. That's going to be fun. No wonder you don't want to go swimming. That's when the sharks are really active. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Cool swim. Yep. All right. So fun stuff. Um, I don't know. I guess. Uh, so Richard, you know, I guess it's a really great thing we're going to be doing here. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm extremely excited. A little bit nervous. A little bit nervous, you know. But yeah. uh, more more excitement than I am right. now. So. Right. And we got the missing man down here, Jay, in the corner. He's going to keep, he's going to make sure, uh, you know, make sure Richard is, you know, okay. And he's going to be on him so he doesn't go to the hospital anytime soon. Right, Jay? Yep. Uh, I always look out for Richard. And we I'll can be. count on, we can count on Alex and um, Landon to make sure we can invite Bill Skarsgård down in, um, in art. We'll make sure they know where I to find you. Richard. I will Your pay you. My back. I'll bring the uh, sandal. I will pay sandal. you. I will pay you to get him in cosplay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you should do like a raw paper scissors shoot game with them. <laughs> so out of curiosity, since you guys have been working on the show, how much how familiar you guys are you guys with the characters you guys are gonna be portraying? Very like, So you know JP pretty well. Does does Alex know who he's playing yet? He knows he's playing Benny, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he's ever dealt with that character before because uh, the last time he actually played a different character when he was working in uh, uh, Oaks, Pennsylvania. Well, you know, when you're a jack of all trades, you can just jump into anything, right? Yep. Yep, there you go. (laughs) And we have more things to come. And we're going to have a huge roster of people. This is going to be a lot of fun. I suggest lots of Tylenol and coffee (laughs) and probably, (laughs) probably some juice. Orange juice is great. It's a, I'm a firm believer in orange juice. Uh, keeps us healthy. Yeah, I'm not supposed to drink orange juice. What's Man. the matter? Too much sugar. sugar. Just don't put too much sugar on sick because I don't want Mr. Richard. <laughs> sugar on orange juice? Yeah, there's too much sugar in orange juice. There is. Diabetic. I didn't even know there was sugar in orange juice. <laughs> My dad, when he drinks orange juice, he put like half water, half orange juice, and ice because hey. it's like a lot, lot of hurt. sugar. Cool. That's good to know. I mean, I use an orange, and I just it works out well for me. I don't know. I never had a problem with oranges, but that's just me. I don't know. It's fun stuff. But I like oranges. It keeps me healthy. I'm never sick, so <laughs> I guess that helps. Right. But to each their own. Well, I know you guys are. I don't know what time it is. It's almost eight o'clock. It's seven fifty on the dot. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to. Uh, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by the headquarters. So before we wrap things up on this end of things, why don't you guys let everyone know what you're excited for and tell everyone why they should go see Hellman Elementary and why they should be part of Hellman Elementary. Starting in the corner with you guys. Wait, what was the first? I got it now. I don't know, I forgot the question. <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> what was the first? Okay. So I was asking... Oh, Starting with you sorry. guys, tell everyone why they should want to watch our show and uh, how excited it is to be part of the show. Okay. Start with you guys. Um, I'm, I think people should watch the show because it's just awesome and it's catchy. And so, like, if they, like, just watch one episode, they could be hooked for the whole, like, how many seasons you're doing. Um, and what was the other question? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun and tell people uh how why you're excited to be part of it oh you're okay you're good I, i'm excited to be part of it because well I've, I've never really done like anything this big and i'm really excited and like to be on netflix you know and to be a part of this group cool. yes yeah, so, kind of like the same thing alex said i'm really like really excited to be like have the opportunity to be on one of these um, TV shows that could be really, really big. And I, you know, I'm really excited um, to give it a try. Um, yes, will be really, really big. And what was the other question? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I think you guys should watch the show because um, it's, it's just going to be amazing. Like it's going to be a stranger things, but better. Um and yeah, I just think it will, you know, do very, very well. So, 
I agree with that. What now, you guys are brothers. You, you guys going to bring that brother drama to the show? Are you going to bring – are we going to see, like, the friends kind of a thing off to the side? We're going to get, like, that couch off to the side, like Modern Family? We're going to have yeah. you guys sitting off to the side. Well, Alex was really upset and – right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> Jay, you're next. All right. So, I mean, there's absolutely nothing out there like this. I mean – there's close, but there's so many differences that make this series what it is that people aren't going to want to miss it. And, you know, like I was saying earlier, um, I'm just looking forward to everything and finally seeing it, you know, come to light and get to see what, you know, all this is going to be about. So, Absolutely. Your turn, buddy boy. Uh, I'm excited to uh, have a new mysterious like uh, type of show to be a part of. And uh, uh, people don't know what is coming. It's going to be some big uh, show, and I'm super excited to start doing it. Richard? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm getting to work with these wonderful, wonderful clowns. Uh, clowns. <laughs> clowns. You know, I'm excited that they're being that they're being brought in on this because I trust them and uh, they're just excellent friends and I, I foresee big things happening for them uh, and people should go watch the show because it's good it's going to be amazing um, and I of course I, I know the storyline so <laughs> trust me it's going to be great. He's right. I agree with him. And as for me, um, let's see. Oh, Drat, I couldn't find it, Richard. I was going to bring my good friend Doink on and show you why I agree with the fact you can never trust a clown. But I can't find it. So, lucky lucky me. Next time. Next lucky time, me. Gadget. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Anyway. Uh, I'm excited because um, I'm getting to do something to help other people, extreme, you know, get to that next level. And as I said before, Richard, your book should have been a TV show a long time ago. It's written for television. The fact that no one's done it sooner, that's on them. They're not, they're not as smart as I am, I guess. But one of the things that I like, that I pride myself on is being able to see and spot talent from a mile away and see sometimes what no one else can. I share your vision. I, I, I appreciate someone that can take the art of writing. I mean, that's how I started out. I love writing. Writing is one of my favorite pastimes. I've been doing it since I was very young, probably younger. I was probably coming up with stories before I was able to actually form letters. But, you know, in order, you know, the vision you have, the characters you have, they're so detailed, they're so, you know, poignant. And all honesty, today in this world, we need something different than the same old, same old over and over and over again. Oh. I don't like to do what everyone else does. I like to be ahead of the curve and I like to be original. Your book is original. The character's original. Um, I like to keep my sets nice, calm, cool, collective, family-like atmospheres. Fun on set. Everyone has a great time. Everyone can rely on everyone cracking jokes, having fun. Because when it comes down to the work, we all work together. It's not our project. It's not my project. It's our project. It's not going to be me bringing everything to life. It's all of us collectively bringing this thing to the screen. And after we win our Emmy, I want to make sure you guys are done writing your speeches and work, work, working your speeches because you know, I don't know about the first year, but after it's all said and done, uh, we're gonna, you know, they're going to say Ted Lass who? And we're going to be the ones taking over everything uh, on the Emmys. And then eventually, who knows, maybe that you know, Spielberg will ask us to make our, his, our film. And then we'll tell him, no, we only work with great uh, independent actors and so forth. We don't want to be using no Steven Spielberg. He's too busy doing his Jedi stuff or his Indiana Jones 20. We do original stuff and we deal with things with the heart. And as I said before, Richard, what you bring to the table and the fact of how the book came to be in the first place, you've talked about that before. That's something I think people need to hear as well. And I think people need those kinds of heroes for kids to relate to, but also for people to root for. 
Stranger Things is going to be a thing of the past soon anyway. It's coming off this scene, and Cobra Kai is ending this season as well. No more Cobra Kai. But in the end of things, when you look at the poignant characters that are Hellman Elementary and the things that can come in to play, you Cobra Kai has nothing on Hellman Elementary, nor does Stranger Things. They can, you know, try to do all that. back. That was back in the 80s anyway. That's the thing of the past. We're modern. We're current day. And I'm excited to help bring your vision to life and to also see all of these people get the recognition they should have. All of these talented people coming together as one for the better purpose to make art and make a great project. Not just any project, our project. It's one thing to be part of something. It's a better thing to be part of the movement that is. We try and do. Exactly. And it's really dark there now. That's there interesting. Go. Anyway, that that's what I'm excited for. And I'm excited to work with every single one of you guys. And I believe in all you guys. And, um, you know, I hopefully we all get along well. And I don't scare you guys with my over sarcasm and so forth. But when it comes down to it, I am loyal to a T. And I will make sure that everything is done to its T. I will reach out to every single every single. Um, person I know to make sure this goes where it needs to. Um, it's not about what you know sometimes, it's who you know. But the fact of the matter is, I got the experience for it, and I have the heart for it, and I believe in all you guys. You guys are all talented beyond belief, and I'm going to make sure it's done. Richard, you're the man. <laughs> thank Jay, you. thank you for joining us in the darkness that yeah. is. And hopefully you guys are awake in time for, your, for the beach at Eight o'clock at night. That's going to be you. some shoot right there. Yeah. Safe oh, yeah. driving. Safe driving. Thank you. Tell Thank your you so mom much. I said hello. You. I will. I will. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Guys, oh, wait. Uh, you, guys can, you guys are good go if you want. You guys are ready to fall asleep. I get it. Oh, no, you're good. No, we're fine. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> All right, I anyway, you. I know that you guys are exhausted up there, down there in Connecticut. Yeah, they are. So we're going to let you guys get some sleep. We're going to let you guys get ready for your photo shoot. Jay, I'm going to let you go back into the darkness that it was. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for everyone, you know, we're going to be doing this soon. And, Richard, want to tell people how they can, if they want to get in contact with you or me or whoever, and tell people how they can get involved with the, you know, the project we're doing. Um, right now, I would say contact us on our Instagram live. Um I was trying to set up the GoFundMe earlier, and uh, once again, being in that uh, convention center, we could not get anything to work. So uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll get that up and going, hopefully pretty soon. Um, but we're going to have a tier program, and uh, you know, any help that uh, people want to donate, we're going to get that set up to where people can. And if people want to audition, just contact, you know, me or you um, on, on your Instagram or, or my Instagram, and we'll work it out and get it figured out. Um, I know there's awesome. some people that are listening that um, uh, knows that I'm going to be contacting them. So just just so they those people know, I haven't forgotten y'all. I've just been extremely busy this weekend. And for those people who are also listening who know I talk to them, you know that I've already talked to you, and you know that I'm going to find you anyway. Right. And eventually, this little four square thing is going to be blown up to well, even more. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of great times. So, batten down the hatches and get ready. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thank you, Richard. Thank you, gentlemen. Landon, of course, of course. Being a trooper down there in Connecticut. And thank <laughs> you, gentlemen, down there in the surf. Don't get eaten by the sharks. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> All right, cool stuff. And Jay, hopefully you find the light. <laughs> Appreciate it, yeah. Just don't go into the light. Right, right. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to let you guys get doing your thing. And guys, thank you very much for joining. Richard, course, I'll be in touch. And may all your dreams come true. Peace, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.